Hello there YouTube, it's Motor Test of the Week. Um, this week I'm going to be testing the NTM Prop Drive uh, series, but the EF1 Pylon Racer motor. Uh, it's a 38 by 42 motor and it's 1300 kV and it says it's capable of 930 watts on 4S. Um, it's a little bit bigger than the 35, 36, 1800 kV. Uh, in size, obviously it's 38 by 42 um, but it does look pretty much similar um, comes with accessory pack although it's a, uh, that dome nut is huge um, so I don't know if you want to use that or not uh, comes with a cross mount and adapter and yeah it looks alright, it's worth giving a try um, it doesn't come set up so that you can either run it uh, as a pusher or puller with the thing so if you're gonna uh, change it you'd have to um, swap the shaft around try to get the shaft out and swap it around so that you can uh, run it the other way around um, it comes in a nice box like this it's pretty good yeah so it's worth giving a try so let's have a look at the specs uh, what we got? It weighs 155 grams, so it's not too bad. Um, it, the shaft is five millimeters, not four millimeters, like the 35-36, and it says it's capable of 65 amps, so not bad. Um, although it does give you a prop test spec here, um, it says both tests are on an eight by eight. Um, I don't know if that's an electric prop or a gas prop, I've only got 8x8 in a gas prop, um, but I'll give that a try. Um, 3S, it says it's only an uh, 8x8 will only draw 260 watts at 24 amps. <laughs> uh, but then again it says it only get, puts out 900 grams of thrust, that's it, it's very good, so why they bother testing that if they're not testing it? Um, to the maximum spec I don't know uh, 4S is a bit better um, same prop 8x8 8 8, 560 watts at 38.8 amps it says and it puts out 1.45 kilograms of thrust so let's see if we can improve on that because um, it says it's only drawing 38 amps there but it could take a maximum of 65 so see what sort of prop this beast can uh, run right so yeah let's give this uh, EF1 pylon racing motor a try I'll get it on the thrust stand and uh, let's give it a whirl okay here we are um, I've got a 8x8 APC gas prop on there um, I don't have any 8x8 electric props um, so let me give this one a try uh, ESC I'm using is a Turner G AE65 amp ESC and the, I'm afraid the only decent 3 cell I've got is a Zippy 2200 milliamp 40C 3 cell um, could do with having a bit bigger 3 cell really but that's the only decent one I've got um, it's all plugged in. Uh, oh, turn the scales on. That's all zeroed. Right, so let's see what results we get on the three cell. That's a bit better than they uh, stated on the um, what I would get. Yeah, he's drawing a bit more amps, but that's not bad. Thirty-one amps. Right. So let's let's see what bigger profit, what size profit will turn on a three cell. 
Okay, I've propped up quite a bit on this one, just to give us a, one quick test on 3-cell. This is a master air screw gas prop, and it's 9.5 by 6. So it's uh, quite a bit bigger prop there. Right, zero the scales, still on the same battery. Pretty good. Took three cell. <laughs> Is that all it's drawing? Blimey. Probably would be better on a bigger battery, but I mean the volt the voltage drop isn't that bad. Quite good that zippy. It's only eleven point four five volts. So that's pretty that's not very low voltage drop, so I can't imagine it would get that much better on a bigger battery. Hmm. Right, that turns a decent sized prop there. I mean, look at the size of that prop. Pretty big. Right, so let's uh, let's stick a four cell on and see what it will turn on a four cell. Okay, I have the 8x8 APC gas prop back on and I've switched to the Zippy Compact 2700 milliamp 60C 4 cell. Yeah, 4 cells. So uh, let's see what thrust I can get out of this on the 4 cell. Drawing quite a bit more than the uh, <laughs> specs say. That's pretty good. Hmm. It was not even slightly warm. Right, let's see what uh, else we can put on there. Okay, I now have a 9x5 JXF gas prop. Still on the same battery and everything, so uh, should put out quite a bit more thrust. This but hey, that's pretty good. Only 48 amps and 750 watts. That's pretty good. No heat in the motor. Right. Okay, let's try another prop. Okay, this might be uh, a bit mental. I've put that um, master air screw. 9.5 by 6 back on because uh, even that 9 by 5 wasn't drawing a lot of current so still on the 4 cell let's give this a try <laughs> still under spec blimey Only 50, that was like 147 watts. Yeah, motor's still not even warm. Blimey. <laughs> right. I'll try one more prop on the 4 cell. Okay, I thought I'd try this prop because on the 4 cell it would probably pick up a lot more speed if you use this on 4 cell. It's an 8x10 APC gas prop. Still on the same 4 cell. So let's give this a try. Yeah. 
you can tell that that's an 8x10, it sounds so different. Oh, and it draws so much more current, see that's that's on the limit. So I think it will turn a 8x10, but it draws so much more current. And the thrust is quite a bit down as well. But it might pick up in the air. Right, so I'm actually going to give this a test on five cell now. Uh, although it doesn't, it does not list it as five cell. But um, I'm going to give it a try because it uh, would obviously be a lot faster. <laughs> so let's see what prop I can stick on it on four cell. Okay, I've swapped over to a 7x8 uh, APC gas prop and I've got a 45C 2650, no, two, 2650 milliamp <laughs> 5 cell. Right, so uh, this could be a bit much but let's see what it does. Wow. Fifty one amps, nine hundred and seventy-five watts. That's pretty good. Um I don't know if you'd want to go over that to be honest. I mean that would be that'd still be pretty quick. I mean a 7x8, let's give that another go. Still the same. It's the first time I've felt any temperature in the motor. Forty two degrees. Hmm. One there. Yeah, 40 degrees. So it's gone up to 40 degrees. Although it is currently 22 degrees in my workshop, so it's quite warm. Um, so you probably wouldn't want to go up any more than that. So if you want to run it on 5 cell, yeah. 7x8 APC gas prop. I think that would be a pretty good combo, that. Almost a thousand watts. All right. Yeah, I'd say that was pretty. I'd say you'd be able to do that. Seven by eight on five cell. All right. So that was this motor test of the week on the Prop Drive EF1 1300 kV pylon racing motor. Yeah, I'd say that's that's a pretty good motor. It's pretty strong. Turned a big prop on four cell. <laughs> so uh, yeah, if you like this video, click like and subscribe. And uh, I'll uh, be putting out motor test videos every week. And uh, seeing what sort of you know props they will turn, and if you can push it over what the specs say. All right, thanks very much. See you again next week. Bye-bye.